Hello friends, welcome to our today's session on Apache Spark. In this series, we are learning about the basics of Apache Spark and in our today's tutorial, we will learn about the Spark function on date and time. Commonly, in all the production applications, I mean in all the Spark production applications, we will be facing an issue on date and time. The issue might be related to the date format or else the time format or else we need to extract some of the informations from the date and time column like year, month, hour or else we need to manipulate uh, the date time column. So there are some inbuilt functions that is available by default in Spark which can be leveraged to do these operations. In this video I will cover almost all the functions that is available in Apache Spark for the date and time related operations. So that being said we will uh, learn each and every function through an example. Let us move on to our today's demo. We are into my Databricks Community Edition account. I have already started the cluster and also created the notebook for our demo purpose. I will walk you through each and every steps and all the functions that is available under date and time uh, to understand the concept better. Uh, I have also given some useful links. I will give these links in the description of our uh, today's video. You can go ahead and uh, learn those things. So let us directly move on to the topic. Uh, as a first step, I am creating a list of dates. I mean, uh, I wanted to create a data frame out of it. So I am creating a list of date and the date I had given it in a format like year slash month slash date and uh, hour minute and then AM or PM. In such a way, I had given all the dates in the same format and then I am also specifying the input schema as uh, input underscore call and I am creating data frame out of it. So this will serve as an input for our today's demo. Let me run this. So it completed. You can see like I had created a data frame of uh, DF and uh, the column for the data frame is input underscore call and it has four records of uh, date and time. Let me clear the state and output cells first and rerun it. Yeah. And uh, as a next step, I am including a property. I am setting up the property for timestamp parser as legacy. Uh, since we have a problem with the latest version of Spark to pass the time, date time, uh, we need to set this property as legacy. Then only we can proceed further with the date time uh, uh, extraction. That's why I am setting this property. And uh, the very next step in each system we will be facing is like we need to convert the string column into a date time stamp column. So that's what we are going to see now. Uh, we have three options to do that. Uh, if you want to do it as a timestamp, you can use two timestamp. If you want to change it as a date column alone, you can give it as two date or else uh, if you are willing to convert it in some other format, you can directly use a date format. We have three functions available in Spark. So I am importing those functions first. As a first line, you can see here from pyspark.sql.function import either two date or else two stamp or else date format. I am importing all these three functions and then uh, here I am using only two date and two timestamp. And if you are willing to understand how we can use date format to convert the string into a, a date or timestamp, I had a separate, I had done a separate video previously. I will give a link in a I button as well as in the description. Please go ahead and watch that video as well to understand how we can use date format. So here I am using only two date or two timestamp and then I am providing the input column inside the function as a first parameter and the second parameter will be the format of that input column that is available. Since I need to convert it only as a date, I am giving only the uh, first half of, of the input column yymmdd. Uh, whereas for timestamp, I need it to convert fully. So for that, I am giving yyymmdd, hh mm and then a. So this is the format of the input column that is available. So these formats where you can take it from. I had already shown you that there are some useful links here. So this useful link will be helpful for you guys 
to understand what are the different formats that is available and how how we can uh, leverage those formats uh, to convert the string column into a date and timestamp so i am running this code now it got completed you can see like my input column is of string type and uh, i am converting it as a date column and the format now you can see it like uh, uh, yyy hyphen mm hyphen dd and it is of type date and uh, this column again i am converting it as a two timestamp and you can see the date type i mean uh, uh, data type as timestamp so this is the very common uh, step that we will be facing in production to convert a string column or else to convert a, a column that is available in a data frame into a date or timestamp so with this function you will be able to do it and the very next step what we are going to see is how we can uh, get the year month date of month hour minute second and then uh, week quarter and uh, week of year with this uh, spark inbuilt function so we do have functions for all those things you can see as a first step i am importing all those functions year month date of month hour minute second day of week quarter week of year everything so i am simply using those functions as uh, uh, input here you can see here in with column uh, for converting the date or a time as year i am giving year as a column name and i am using this function year and then i am giving input column as time simply doing it and uh, for each and every steps i am doing the same for even month date of month hour minute for everything i am just using the function that is available in bit and i am displaying it one tricky part is like uh, we need to understand the week of year alone so this week of year it is not uh, as direct as we are seeing it here so week of year it is of iso format so you might see some discrepancies when you are uh, uh, using that you might think like it might uh, have a uh, week of year as one but uh, it will it but it will show a different week of year say for example uh, here uh, i am giving select week of year of 2022 uh, january 1st date here you might think like it might display the week of year as one since it is a first of january you might think it is a uh, first week but if you go and see the real output it is 52 this is because it depends on the iso format like spark it will consider the week of year in iso format and for iso format uh, it has to have at least uh, three plus days in a week to consider it as a first day of the week since our 2022 let me go to january quickly so since our uh, 2022 has only one day in a week uh, it is not able to consider it as a whole week and it is saying is saying it as a 52 but if you go through 2020 let me go open at 2020 january here you can see we have three plus days in a week so if i give 2020 it will provide me one so understand this try this and understand this if you have any issues uh, ping me i will be able to help you guys and uh, the next functions that we are going to check is uh, how we can uh, convert the uh, date time into a words like uh, say for example uh, i have a week i wanted to convert it as a uh, thursday wednesday monday like in words and month as january february march in words so for that also we have a function so what we are going to do is in a first column i am using day of the week which will give us the result in a number and i am giving day of uh, uh, the week in words uh, which is going to give us the uh, exact uh, week name in a words so for that i am using date format and uh, as a input i am giving time column we can use either time or else date column that doesn't matter here i am uh, using time and uh, inside bracket inside the format if you see i am giving here uh, four e's and uh, for 
month in words i am giving 4l and let me display the output so here we go you can see like uh, the days in words has converted the fifth day as thursday wednesday tuesday friday and month in words as march april like that so but in some cases you might have to truncate the words of uh, days and month like t h u r w d like that so for that you can give only three letters in format like this so if i run it it will give a truncated output as you can see here m a r a p r for month and uh, t h u w d for uh, words in days so this is also available inside spark itself and uh, one last thing that we are going to see is uh, we can use a current date function to get the current date i mean the today's date and uh, we can we also have some options to have the date difference date addition date subtraction date truncation so these operations also can be performed using the inbuilt function of spark we don't need to depend upon the we don't need to create a external uh, function or else a udf for these operations we can directly use the sparks uh, uh, inbuilt sql functions so again as a first step i am importing all those things date diff add sub date trunk and simply i am calling those functions and i am passing the input here since i am using uh, only date i am directly giving the date column itself as a input for date difference as you know we need two columns which has to be date again uh, so what it will does is it will subtract the first date with the second date and it will it will uh, give us how many number of days in between the two dates so that's what the output of date diff and date addition it will add number of days uh, with the given date and it will shows the output and for date sub it will subtract the five days uh, with the day given day and it will shows the output and truncate uh, it will uh, truncate the date uh, till the date format that we have given here if i give y y y y it will immediately truncate from year and if i give mm -hmm, it will truncate uh, uh, from month if i give dd it will truncate from date so let me run this so here you can see the date of uh, is giving uh, negative value since uh, i have a older date minus current date so it is giving a negative value uh, but you can uh, say like it has 65 days in between the current date and the date i have so this is how we can uh, do some operations on date and uh, time functions so apart from this uh, i have a small thing to show you guys so if you have guys struck with some uh, function and you don't know how to use those things you can directly use the help option that is available uh, like simply do help and inside that put on the function that you want to use so here i had used date underscore add i don't know what is the syntax and how to use it i am simply running help of date and it will give me the general syntax and how to use that uh, date add so here you can see the date add has two parameters one is the start and days and here it's a example which i can use so here if you see in date add they had given a date column and the number of days uh, which has to be uh, added to the given date so in this way it will add the date i mean like in this way uh, you can use the help command to understand the syntax better i uh, hope you guys uh, understood the the date time functions that is available in spark try this on your own machine and let me know if you face any issues i am happy to help you guys uh, thank you for watching please do subscribe to my channel and also give a thumbs up signal if you really like my content thank you